what is up designers welcome to my photoshop tutorial and today we're going to learn how to create the chalk effect in photoshop i'm going to start off with a blackboard and my photograph in place if you guys want to download these photographs and follow along you're welcome to do so the download link should be in the description below so the first thing you want to do is select your puppy i think this is a corgi they're really cute so I'm just going to select this. Uh, by the way, I'm using the quick selection tool, W for shortcut. It's really easy to select this because of the background. And once I have my selection, I'm just going to press Ctrl or Command J to duplicate this selection. And I'm going to hide the previous layer. Once I do that, I'm going to select my new layer, the selection. And I'm going to go to Filter, Filter Gallery. I'm going to go to the sketch folder right here and press the photocopy filter. Once I'm there, I'm just going to adjust the details to about 8 and then darkness to 40. You might want to play around with this, but just make sure it's within these numbers. I'm going to press OK and we're going to get this kind of result. Now the next step is to change the blending mode of this layer to screen. And then we pretty much have our result ready. We can adjust this even more to make it nicer. So I'm going to double click this layer and select stroke. I'll put the size to 8 pixels and the position of the stroke inside. The blend mode can be put to dissolve to give it a little bit of grainy texture to imitate the chalk effect. And then you can also adjust the opacity to your liking. I'll leave it at around 90%. Uh, not to mention that your color here should be white. But then again, chalks come in different colors so you might want to experiment with that as well. After that, I'm going to go to adjustment layers and select levels. I'm going to press Alt or Option, go in between these two layers and click with my mouse. And from here, you can use this slider to adjust it. You can add or remove the whiteness to your image. And finally, you can go back to this layer and reduce the opacity to about 90% to make it look even more realistic. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please leave a like. It really helps the channel to grow. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this content created. And I'll see you guys in the next one.